what's new in this new version of Flux. I will see that we have a new tool for 3D rotating machines in Flux. I will see some new improvements and new features in the 3D model. I will see some interesting things in uh, to, to get faster and get more accurate results, some physical model and so on, some distribution. And we'll see some new things about multiphysics coupling. Let's talk now about multiphysics. So you might see here some pictures about uh, magnetotape model coupling, vibroacoustics. So what do we have this year? We have a new uh, temperature dependent magnet model, which means that now when you are modeling some, for example, uh, BPM motors in magnetothermal analysis, you will have access to uh, uh, properties that depend on temperature. So this can be very helpful to uh, model efficiently all the behavior inside of your magnet motors. So we hope that we, you will enjoy this kind of model. And as well, uh, you might know that Flux is a, a very accurate uh, software for induction heating. We have a lot of references inside this domain. And we have uh, lots of examples and lots of tools to uh, address this uh, field. So for example, we have a macro that uh, can uh, do some mesh like this, some skin effect mesh. So this is very helpful for people doing induction heating. But now, uh, this year, we added a new model about radiation. Uh, now you have a, a real uh, complete model for radiation between surfaces, uh, which means that you will take into account emissivity, absorption, uh, reflect reflection, uh, with coefficients and that uh, all the surfaces will be taken into account. So, which means that when you have uh, uh, heating only from radiation between two corpses, now it will be very, very well designed and you will have more precise induction index study. So, this is very important for thermal application also with important temperature gradients. So, if you look at some examples here, you have uh, two tubes. The external tube is uh, heated by uh, joule losses, and then the internal tube is heated by uh, only the radiation of the external tube here. So as you can see, over the time, we will uh, heat first the external tube, and then after, with a, de a delay, we heat also the internal tube. So this will help you going further into uh, induction heating analysis. And it's available in 2D, axisymmetric, and 3D. As you might see here, I uh, plotted the curve about an average value of the temperature. So in order to do some this kind of curve, we added some new sensors inside the post-processing context, which are uh, this kind of sensor. So now you can directly create a sensor that will uh, estimate, evaluate the minimum, the maximum, the sum, the average, or the integral of a quantity on a specific support. So here you saw already we had some predefined integral and control uh, sensors. Now we have some what we call operation. And inside operation, you have access to all of these operators. So average, maximum, sum, minimum, integral. It's, uh, it's easy to uh, understand. And distribution, it can be useful. For example, if you want to look at uh, how many percent of uh, your device is uh, higher than uh, 50 degrees, for example. So this is the kind of uh, quantity that you can estimate with distribution using your percentages. And you can do so all of the sensors on the face support, point, domain, etc. So this can help you uh, going faster into the post-processing. And it's very good if you want to uh, use it as an input for the optimization. Because if you want to look at the, the minimum temperature inside of your whole domain, then you can do it directly from this sensor. We also try to uh, make some work about uh, nonlinear solving. And we uh, created a method which is uh, like a hybrid method, uh, which changes the kind of solver. Uh, if it's nonlinear, it, it can change after a few iterations so that the convergence is really faster. So I, I can't show you any uh, progress here, but uh, you might know that uh, we have worked with some customer cases and we have uh, 15 customer cases that are faster. So these are complex cases and uh, they really, we really hope that this new method will help you uh, going uh, faster in all of your 
solving time. You might know that we already had some couplings with vibroacoustics module. So we had a coupling between Flux and EVMS Virtual Lab, Flux and MSC Nastro. And now in Flux 12.1, we implemented a new uh, export of forces for vibroacoustic analysis to ANSYS Mechanical. So we know that ANSYS Mechanical is uh, one of the most uh, used software for vibroacoustic analysis. And uh, so the, that's why we try to implement this kind of exports so that all of Flux users can benefit from um, the vibroacoustic analysis uh, very easily and we provide like a, a full solution for vibroacoustic now uh, thanks to this export. We have a lot of macros, so around 150 macros and we added some more macros of this year, some capacitance matrix computation which can be useful uh, instead of going to solve a lot of electrostatic studies, some demagnetization in 3D, uh, doing some full other coils like coils like this which are already done in thanks to a macro. Uh, you can create a 2D project from a 3D project uh, doing a cut. So if you choose a cut plane, you can create directly a 2D project from this. And on and on, we have some more macros going on. We also added some examples from uh, SRM 2D, so synchronous relentless machine uh, inside the supervisor, a magnetization case, and so on. And we also updated all the tutorials using the sketcher and the modeler so that you can learn how to uh, do all these examples with the latest geometry tools. You would also uh, benefit from a latest Jiton update, which means that very soon, thanks to this update, uh, you will have NumPy and SciPy available as a libraries for Python users. Also that we have only Flux 62, 64 bits and we also can support Windows 10. Now to conclude about all of this uh, presentation of new features in Flux 12.1, you, you could see that we made some work for uh, making the modeler more robust and more efficient and uh, you might enjoy uh, the import capabilities that are very higher than uh, before. So you can uh, trust them very, uh, very strongly. Uh, you will enjoy the fast and easy way to, to, to compute uh, distribution, to run adaptive solving computations. And uh, if you are motor designers, you will enjoy the overlays, which will be available for people already owning the overlays. It's not something new that you have to buy. If you are already the overlay in 2D, you have the overlay in 3D. And we had some more precise models for induction heating, for current in solid conductors. And what um, is very important also for all the machine designers is a value acoustic for ANSYS mechanical export. So we hope that you will enjoy this flux plug of one as we do and uh, that you keep innovating in 3D uh, thanks to flux.